Welcome back. We are here on Etor looking at the uh, commodities market and the precious metal market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, uh, October 7, 2020. If you'd like to su support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner, hitting the like button and the bell button in, this, in order to see our newest videos. So let's get to it. So we are here looking at um, WTI oil. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly in today's trading session. We rallied yesterday over 6% and today we are rallying again uh, another 3%. At this point, I do believe that we will uh, see a pullback. Uh, we have run into resistance at the 50 moving average. We have been rejected at this point. However, we may see uh, like a matter of two days of trading session similar to what we saw here where we basically have a spike above the 50 moving average get rejected next uh, trading day we'll have the same thing get a very negative candle here and then the third day will basically break down so there's no technically reason why oil should be um, should be bullish at this point world economy is slowing down um, the probably the main reason is because Donald Trump is back. Uh, the, there is uh, probably fears of disruption of uh, of the supply of oil, but this is just um, short term negative news that is rallying this market at this point. So uh, for me, I'm waiting to see um, negative candle in the hourly chart or something like that indicating that we will go back down because i do believe that we'll go and retest these levels of um, 37 or 36 and then we'll also go down to uh, 35 and also to to 30 dollars um, oil just doesn't have it is but technically the world is a wash in oil at the moment there's a lot of uh, supply and not that a lot of demand at this point so that is a cocktail for lower prices uh, if we were to break through this uh, 50 moving average if we get tomorrow's session a green candlestick above the 50 moving average then 50 moving uh, the 50 moving average will become support and we'll go and retest these highs of 33 dollars and so on but if we break down from here go past the 200 moving average then they will go down to these levels again if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that we may go all the way down to the first Fibonacci retracement, which is at 30 level. Uh, we, if we go to the 50 Fibonacci retracement, which is at 55, 25, uh, sorry. And then the last one is at $21. Um, that'll probably take quite a long time. I don't believe we'll go all the way down here, but $30, that is quite a realistic goal to be, to be fairly honest lost my 200 moving average here there so at this point i am just waiting for for this bull run to basically be over because i do expect this market to fall quite significantly in the in the next few trading days so if you look at natural gas so natural gas rallied in the morning session gave away a lot of its gains and at this point we may see something similar to this where we basically consolidate for a few days and then break down towards the 50 moving average before going higher it looks like this price level here is quite significant resistant at this point with it does it may also be that we'll trade sideways in order for the 200 moving average average to catch up uh, with the 50 moving average you can see the distance between these two is quite substantial at this moment so we are quite overstretched so it may well be that we'll just go sideways get the, the 200 moving average to catch up um, and so on because at this point i do believe that we are going to go much higher in the natural gas um, market um, the 50 moving average has proven to be quite supportive, well, significant supportive. And if that were to break, then we have the 200 moving average right underneath. 
if we were to break the top of this uh, candlestick here, then we'll go to these levels, uh, previous highs of uh, back in 2000 and 2019, uh, which is at 2.92. And after that, we'll go and retest these highs around 3.4 um, level. Um, no interest in basically shorting this market. This is uh, currently an uptrend and will continue this uptrend as long as the weather conditions are in the United States. We are also approaching winter months. And if the winter is a, is a very cold winter, uh, then this market will go even higher. So if we look at copper, so copper is finding uh, resistant at the 50 moving average. And at this point, I do believe it's just a matter of time before we break down. It looks like we are in, uh, the trend is about to change. We have hit the, uh, the highs here around the 3.11. And at this point, I think that will go uh, go lower. Um, in a matter of weeks, probably as a month, we'll go and re go and test the 200 moving average. We have tried twice to break down significantly, and this is just a significant sign that we are about to go lower uh, with copper. If you look at the technical indicators, then the the MACD is quite negative. The stochastic is is at this point quite positive. Um, and the RSI is, is kind of flat. But if you look at the look at the uh, weekly chart, uh, then this doesn't look very good for copper. The MACD is about to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum, uh, bearish momentum, I'm sorry. Uh, the stochastic is uh, pointing to lower levels. And the, the RSI is also taking it flat. But this should be a warning for, for copper that we are going to much lower levels. Uh, if we were to break down from here, we'll go to the 200 moving average. And if that breaks, then we'll go to the 50 moving average. Next is uh, gold. So gold has rallied yesterday and it has also tried to rally today if we look at the daily chart as a weekly chart. But we're still at this point trading underneath the 50 moving average. And this technically shows exhaustion. At this point, I do believe that we'll just break down here from here and go towards the uh, 1800 level. First, we're going to go for these lows at the uh, 18. Uh, 1850 there above and then we'll go to 1800 probably even lower than that this doesn't uh, it, it doesn't seem that there is the momentum in this market at the moment in order to break this um, this uh, trend line here which we are just about to test we haven't been rejected we have the 50 moving, uh, moving average just above and then we have this entire area here which will also be uh, resistant at this point i do believe that we'll break down um, towards the 1800 level probably the 200 moving average before going higher the technical indicators for uh, gold are quite mixed we have uh, the macd crossing the signal line indicating bullish momentum but we also have the stochastic indicating bullish momentum, but the, the RSI is about to turn around. It's quite flat. So I do believe that we'll, we are going to break down from here. If we were to break up to more, through this trend line, then we have the 50 moving average. We have to break that. And then we also have to break through this resistant area here. And I just don't believe that it's going to be the case in, uh, at this point. So you look at silver. So same thing for a silver. This is just a too gradual um, uptrend for, there's just not that in momentum uh, here in order to get through the 50 moving average and also this entire area here. I do believe that it's just a matter of time before we break down 
towards the uh, 200 moving average and the, probably the Fibonacci retracements will be the most reliable uh, uh, where we basically will find support. So the first one is at uh, 20.92. Next one is at 20, uh, 20 and a half, and then we have the 200 moving average. So we may bounce from the uh, 50, 50 Fibonacci retracement uh, before we go higher from here. If we were to break to the upside, then we have to break through the 50 moving average, and then we'll run into this resistant area here, which we tried to get through um, several weeks ago. So if you look at Kakoa, So Kokoa has broken through the 200 moving average. We are currently trading underneath that 200 moving average. And we are at this moment going to retest this area, which was previous uh, support where we hang around for quite a long time in the past. So we may find support. You can see we did the same thing a few uh, weeks ago. You may find support around this area here and then bounce. Uh, but at this point, both the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average are resistant. And the technical indicators are just looking worse and worse for Kakoa. So we may see this, um, uh, see Kakoa go lower towards this resistant area. If this breaks, then we'll go all the way down towards this resistant area, which is around this area here and if that breaks then we'll go all the way down to uh, 2.089 to the upside if we break the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average then we'll find resistant around this area after that we'll find resistant in these highs of 2.7 so if you look at platinum So platinum has broken down quite significantly today. We're down around 4%, I think it is. Yes, and, um, and at this moment, we are finding support at the 200 moving average. And I believe that is going to be probably as low as we're going to go at this point. There's just too much uh, support underneath this area here and as well here for this to break down significantly. We may go and retest these lows. Um, that may be the case. In order, we need to basically see a red candlestick underneath the 200 moving average in order to confirm that we are going lower. At the moment, 200 moving average is holding. Um, however, the technical indicators are looking quite negative for this for this for platinum. The RSI is pointing to lower momentum. The stochastic is the same, and the MACD as well. Uh, but at this point. 200 moving average is holding. To the upside, 50 moving average is resistant. If that breaks, then there's nothing basically preventing us from going to these highs. So sugar. So sugar has again rallied today and we have gotten all the way up to 0 0.1377. And at this point, we are overbought uh, in the daily chart and we are fairly overstretched. So we may see a pullback in sugar anytime soon. And that I would guess would go towards the 50 moving average, probably around, if you look at the Fibonacci tracements, we'll probably go towards uh, the uh, 0 0.30 at this moment, 13 at this moment. And if we go all the way down to the 50 the Fibonacci retracement, then we'll basically hit the 50 moving average as well. So that is a really good entry point for a buy. No intentions of selling this. We are in an uptrend and uh, this looks like that we are going to go much higher. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Down in the corner, you can click this button and uh, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos, which we do now on a daily basis. Um, good luck and happy trading.